Today we will look into writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. We have been writing equations in slope-intercept form and point-slope form. In each style, all we need to do is to identify the slope and use one point to write the equation. Today, with equations of parallel and perpendicular lines, we will be finding the slope from the parallel and perpendicular information. Here's our vocabulary. Our goal is to find a second equation of a line that is parallel or perpendicular. We will first do by graphing, then we will use algebraic methods, point slope or slope intercept form. A parallel line, then two lines share the same slope. Collinear means two lines that share the same solutions. Perpendicular line is when slopes of two lines are negative reciprocals of each other. To write an equation of a parallel line, we will use our slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, or we can use our point-slope form, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. In either, the, in either case, we will need to find a slope and an independent point. So, we will first start with an equation of a given line y given. In, after looking at the equation of a given line, we are going to create a parallel line to the given line. So to, a parallel line to the given line is going to have this same slope, y parallel. Our goal is to find the equation of the parallel line. So slope of the given line, uh, we should identify that first. And then we will find the slope of the parallel line, which is going to be the same slope, and we will write the equation of the parallel line. Find the slope of the given line, and I, slope of the given line will be same as the slope of the perpendicular line. Then by using that slope, we're going to write the equation uh, with the y is equal to mx plus b, and by finding the b, we're going to write the final equation and slope of the m given will be equal to slope of the parallel line. The second style is writing an equation of a perpendicular line. This time we will have a given line and we will try to find the equation of a perpendicular line to the given line. A perpendicular will have a 9 degree angle. So I'll put y perpendicular for this one. We will first find the slope of the given line, m given. Then we will rewrite the new slope, slope of the perpendicular line, as the negative reciprocal. So in this case, m perpendicular would be equal uh, times m given will be equal to negative 1 because of negative reciprocals. Then we will find the y-intercept. So for b, we will write the equation in slope-intercept form and find the y-intercept and complete the equation. So to summarize, find the slope of the given line, rewrite the slope uh, by negative reciprocal to find the slope of the perpendicular line, and then write your equation the half way and complete the equation by using solving for b. Here is our first example. Write the equation of a line that passes through negative 3, negative 5 and is parallel to the line y is equal to 3x minus 1. First, identify the slope. Slope on this one is going to be 3. Now, let's also find slope of the parallel line. I'm um, parallel. That slope of the parallel line is 3 again because slope of slopes of the parallel lines are same. They have the same slope. Now, fi after finding the slope, after finding the slope of the parallel line, we can try to write the equation of the parallel line, y parallel. This is not the 
equation we used, we are trying to find a new equation, 3x plus b. This is the equation written halfway. Now we need to find the b value by using the given point. This was our x value, this was our y value. We can put this negative 5 for the y value, 3 times negative 3 plus b, and negative 5 is equal to negative 9 plus b, add 9 to each side, b is equal to 4. I'll put that information right back here and write our final equation as y is equal to 3x plus 4. And this is the equation of the perpendicular line, excuse me, this is the equation of the parallel line that was to our given line. Now, we can also solve the same equation with point-slope form. After finding the slope, if I want to use the point-slope form, I would use the slope and the given point. Our point-slope equation was y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Our slope is 3, point is negative 3, negative 5, y minus negative 5 is equal to 3 times x minus negative 3 y plus 5 is equal to 3 times x plus 3 and due to distributive property y plus 5 is equal to 3x plus 9 subtract 5 y is equal to 3x plus 4 we found the same equation in either way you can use the slope intercept form or point slope form to find your equation here's your first try the equation given is your given equation. Your goal is to find m parallel. What's the par slope of the parallel line? And then y parallel. What's the equation of the parallel line? Here's our second example. We are going to write the equation of a perpendicular line this time. Let's find the slope of the given line, m given, is 2. And from that, I can find the slope of the perpendicular line, which will be negative reciprocal of the given line, negative 1 half. After finding the slope of the perpendicular line, and knowing that that line passes through this point, I can use the point and the slope in either point-slope form or slope-intercept form. Here is the slope-intercept form. y is equal to negative 1 half x plus b. Equation is written halfway. Now we will use the given point into this equation, into this equation and find the b value. Then we can complete our equation. Negative 5 is equal to negative 1 half times 4 plus b. Negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Negative 5 is equal to negative 2 uh, plus b. Add 2 to each side. Negative 3 is equal to b. After this information, I can put my b value into original equation here. y is equal to negative 1 half x minus 3 is our final equation of the perpendicular line. Now, let's do the similar uh, process with the point slope form. If you remember, our point slope form equation was y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Let's plug in our x value and y value for the points, x1 and y1 for the points, and slope is negative 1 half. y minus negative 5 is equal to negative 1 half times x minus 4. We can uh, do the distributive property here. y plus 5 is equal to negative 1 half x plus 2. Then subtract 5 from each side. y is equal to negative 1 half x minus 3. In either case, we find the equation of the uh, perpendicular line to the given line. Here's your U-try. 
find the slope of the given line, find the slope of the perpendicular line by using the negative reciprocal, then find your y-intercept, then write the equation of the line. By looking at the slopes of the lines, we can also determine whether two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. If the slopes of two lines, M1 and M2, are exactly the same, then the two lines are parallel. If the slopes of two lines are negative reciprocals of each other, uh, then M1 times M2 would be equal to negative 1 then we would say these lines are perpendicular. Here, for example, if we would have 3 over 2 and negative reciprocal of that would be negative 2 over 3, which is equal to negative 1, that's the case where two slopes are perpendicular. Then, if two lines are neither parallel then, nor perpendicular, then they would be just intersecting. It would be a neither case. Look at the slope of these lines on this U-try and determine uh, whether Villadale and Bethpage streets are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Here's the next U-try. We need to determine whether the paths are perpendicular or not. You need to find the slopes of MA and MB and compare the slopes to see whether they are going to be perpendicular or not. That's the end of our video. Please make sure to bring any questions to the class so we can look into those a little further.